Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. On the morning of September 13th, Apple held its annual product launch ceremony. At this time of year, there are huge crowds of people, and countless people are waiting for the press conference and the launch of new products. However, the launch of the iPhone 15 this time was bleak. Even after the meeting, there were very few topics about this phone. Originally, Apple confidently planned to open up the market with this upgraded new product, and then harvest it again. But it turns out that their stock price shrank by 47.7 billion US dollars, or 347.5 billion yuan, in one day. But now, his beautiful wish has been completely shattered, and Cook's heart has completely collapsed. Apple's current situation is, on the one hand, because there's nothing innovative about the iPhone 15, and on the other hand, it is because Huawei and Xiaomi have reached a settlement. Their actions are like telling the United States to unite and fight against foreign enemies. This has excited many people. They all want to support domestic mobile phones. This has put Apple's position in China into a very embarrassing situation. Situation Apple's Apple conference this time, with the theme of curiosity, obviously has a lot of interesting things, but this is not the case. In addition to some changes in color, the biggest differences between iPhone 15 are the charging port, volume control keys and pixels. Since then, there seems to be nothing left to tempt anyone to buy. Generally speaking, they will buy a new mobile phone even if there is nothing new, but this time it is different. Everyone's interest in this mobile phone has dropped a lot. Why is this? Their attention has shifted to another thing. On this day, Huawei took the lead and directly launched the sales of Mate 60 Pro without holding any press conference. It can be said that the streets are empty. As soon as it went on the market, it was sold out. Even Huawei's stores had people queuing up, which was rare in the past few days. Therefore, Huawei launches new products earlier than Apple. This is a very successful strategy. If it cannot surpass Huawei in terms of products, it will definitely cause a big blow to their sales. From this point of view, Huawei's initiative this time has indeed dealt a big blow to Apple. Moreover, this new product launch conference was full of twists and turns. Just a few nights ago, he was cut off. On the day of the release, it was like he had a nightmare. Cook never expected that Xiaomi and Huawei would join forces to deal with him. On September 13, Huawei and Xiaomi, the two powerful Chinese mobile phone industries, announced an important move. The two companies signed an international patent licensing contract, which includes 5G. Whether it is Huawei or Xiaomi, this cooperation is full of sincerity. First of all, China needs to understand what does international mutual authorization mean. To put it simply, both Huawei and Xiaomi agree to transfer their patents to each other, and both parties can pay the corresponding fees. In this way, it not only saves a lot of money, but also provides a good opportunity for technology exchange between the two countries. I don't know if you have any impression. In February, there was a patent dispute between Huawei and Xiaomi. According to China Intellectual Property, 
Huawei has filed a lawsuit for infringing Xiaomi's patent rights. However, two months later, the U.S. National Intellectual Property Office issued a ruling confirming that Xiaomi's patent is still valid. One is a big boss in the industry, and the other is a newcomer in the industry. This patent lawsuit naturally attracted the attention of many people. Everyone is speculating that there seems to be a sworn hatred between Huawei and Xiaomi. What's more, the biggest advantage of a high-tech company like them is its own technology. Therefore, even a company will pay more attention to patents and patents. But now, the two companies have reached a settlement. At the height of the chip war, and on the day Apple launched new products, Huawei and Xiaomi decided to transfer patents to each other. The meaning of this is already obvious. In addition, the cooperation between Xiaomi and Huawei is undoubtedly a new opportunity for Chinese high-tech companies. In the near future, with the success of these two companies, China's technology industry will usher in a new era. As the People's Daily said, to give up all delusions, China can only rely entirely on independent strength to better deal with external restrictions and suppressions one after another. The strong cooperation between Huawei and Xiaomi is to show the world how powerful China is. It is to declare to the world that Chinese companies are willing to put aside their pride and unite when they are besieged by the United States and other Western countries. Jointly resist challenges from the outside. As the dominant player in the global high-end smartphone market, Apple faces strong competition from Huawei and Xiaomi, and its market share in China continues to decline. Apple's characteristics are gradually diminishing. Only by continuing to strengthen innovation and seize core technologies can it maintain its advantage in the competition. The rise of domestic technology is changing the landscape of the smartphone industry and is an important opportunity for Chinese companies. There is no doubt that Chinese mobile phone manufacturers' efforts in self-research on technology will make important contributions to the country's technological development. Thank you for watching this video.